Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the air with O'Hare and today we got another unboxing video but this is a special KLM edition so this is going to be a dual unboxing uh, so I'm going to try and be really quick uh, as much as I can without repeating myself and uh, instead of usually doing it in part one or in part two we're just going to do it in just one video which is this video alright so I sort of already opened the box I just had to take a look inside for myself to see everything was top, was top notch and uh, so there's the packaging slip and then protection there we go some nice uh, giant bubble wrap and then at the top we got our first box And then right underneath with a little bit more paper wrapping, we got our second box, which is really like done and tight here. There we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna move all this packaging stuff to the back into the box. And let's just take a look now. There we go. So, let's start with this one. Uh, since it was on top. And I know there's going to be a couple jokes about that from some of my friends who watch my videos. But anyway. Uh, so, as you can see, let's just get right into it. Um, this is the front side of the box. So, we got the Kalen logo with uh, one 400 uh, premier uh, premier I don't know why it says premier collection premier collection okay there we go and then at the top here we got the Darren Wings logo and uh, this blue is uh, like the old uh, KLM colors so looking at the bottom um, yeah, bottom of the box, we got Dragon Wings logo, KLM logo, 1400 uh, Premier Collection. And then on the right hand side, we have the same thing, as well as on top. And, but on the side, we have uh, just, uh, just some information about Darren Wings, and uh, copyright uh, info and all that all the legal legal uh, shindig there and then just got some information about the um, er, like the model itself that it's not suitable for children under 14 and it may have small parts and then we have the recycling logo and yeah that's about it um, so this is a 20 uh, no, sorry 2003 release and then there's the registration. Papa, uh, Hercules, Bravo, Zulo, uh, Jacob. I guess I'm just going to go with Jacob for now. And it is the Boeing 767-300 um, aircraft. So let's just take a look at it. So the flap does open from bottom. Oh, let's uh, quickly take a look at the back. It's basically the same thing as, uh, um, sorry, uh, yeah, the back side. So it's the same as the front. Got the Darren Wings KLM logo, uh, the old KLM colors, and then 1400 uh, Premier Collection. Alright, so let's just take it out. So it does come with a stand. So it says KLM Boeing 767-300, and then uh, so th sorry that's the base, and then this is the this is stand here. So let's just take that out. So 
there's the stand right there. And here's the base. Nothing on the inside of the base. It's just uh, clear, blank. Uh, so that's all we have in writing there. And it's an easy snap there. And it does come with the um, instruction manual if you want to put the aircraft in flight mode, uh, how to take out the gears and put them back in. And it says Boeing 767 right there. And then, let's see, 1400 Premier Collection Series. Uh, Dragon Wings logo. And we have copyright. Uh, 2003 printed in Hong Kong. Right. And then another thing to notice is it has engraved writing, so it has it says 767-300, and then it's hard to see, but it says Bravo, so there's a B for Bravo. All right. Now let's take it out. And right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you guys uh, that since it is a um, Dragon Wings release, it its uh, gears do not roll. So here's the extra pieces if you want to put the aircraft in flight mode. And... Um, So I'm, I'm going to put that back in the into the box. There's the model. And it does um, come with the uh, there is a protection on the on the nose landing here. There's a piece of plastic which I just took out so I could Put it back into the box, which is not cooperating. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna leave the stand there. And there's the model. So let's just uh, hop in right into it. Let's start from the left hand side. All right. So, um, since this is a 2003 release, it's not very detailed, um, so there's the cockpit windows, you can uh, also see the windshield wipers there, uh, it has the KLM Northwest logo, there, and then the KLM logo. Then you have the front uh, emergency exits. Uh, you have uh, the landing light there. And then the engine is very detailed, so are the slats. And um, we'll take a look at the engines from uh, the front side. But very good detailing. You can see the KLM logo there. And uh, I know it's hard to see, but there's no indication of the active aircraft light. Uh, moving towards the back, I'm just going to turn up a bit so we can get some lighting here. You have the rear emergency exits uh, and the registration, the Netherlands flag, and the uh, European Union flag. And uh, then we have the KLM logo there, so it's very detailed again on um, the rudders and uh, and the um, elevators. And uh, all right, let's now take a look at. Uh, the right side. So starting from the back. So again, very good detailing on this side too. 
uh, with the rudder and the elevators. You can sort of see that. And then, uh, just going to turn it a little bit towards the lighting here so we can see a bit more better. There we go. sort of go. Okay. So, uh, there we go. So you can see uh, the rear emergency exits. And then you have uh, the European Union flag, uh, the Netherlands flag, and then the registration. And then you have the rear uh, cargo door bay. Uh, and then you have, uh, again, we're back at the wings with very good detailing um, on the slats and flaps. Um, engine again very good detailing you can see that KLM there KLM logo nice nicely all right yeah. and then um, you can see the landing light there and then coming towards the front we have the front emergency exits as well as the KLM logo and the front cargo door bay and then we have the Northwest and KLM logo. Just a little bit hard to see right now because the camera is not focusing. Wonder if I if I block the light, will it focus? You could sort of see it. And then we're back at the front with the cockpit windows and the windshield wiper. So that's about it for this one. Uh, let's continue on uh, into the second box. So I'm just going to put this uh, on this place in. Okay, uh, sorry, quickly, I forgot um, to mention. Uh, we forgot to take a look at the engines. So let's be really quick about that. Not much detailing, but you can uh, easily uh, see the fans there. And then looking at the bottom, you have uh, that little bump there uh, indicating the scraper there. And then we have the registration once again. Uh, main landing gear, again the gears do not roll. Uh, but they are loose. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, so you could take them out and put it into flight mode. And, uh, yeah, so very delicate, though. Uh, and then there's the hole for the stand. Right there. Again, very good detailing on the flaps there. And coming up to the top, you can see the uh, nose gear door bay. Or door bay for the nose gear, anyway. Uh, again, very good detailing there. And then, yeah, so uh, minus uh, the point where uh, they don't have any uh, indication on the top of the aircraft uh, to indicate uh, any a the active aircraft light or anything else. And uh, so very limited detailing. Again, this is a 2003 model release. Um, but uh, I just had to get it because for one I didn't know that KLM ha uh, used to operate 767s. Um, they stopped operation I believe in 20, uh, sorry, 2007. And so when I saw that I'm like really KLM used to operate and then I did some research apparently they did. Uh, so I'm like okay since this is a re retired aircraft. Uh, I might as well add it to my collection uh, since KLM is one of my favorite airlines um, next to WestJet so yeah uh, it used to be KLM was was my number one favorite uh, airline uh, but then uh, my experience with WestJet when I flew WestJet and uh, just their prices and just their service uh, I really like WestJet and plus their even their old colors are very good uh like it's very good on on their uh, aircraft and i just and now their new uh 
uh, modernized um, colors are even better. So, anyway, uh, let's continue on to the second aircraft. I'm just going to put this in stand. There we go. Nice and gentle. Alright, so this is going to be pretty quick because it's the same thing as the other box. Uh, so, only difference would be on this side. So, uh, again, all that is the same. The registration is different. Uh, so, it's uh, Papa, Hercules, uh, Kilo, Sierra, uh, Jake. I think it's Jake. I don't know. Uh, correct me in the comments, or I might just write it once I find out the correct. Um, correct way to say it and anyway so there we have uh, I didn't notice oh it's on the other box too but it says Lupa aircraft models and then it is an MD-11 so uh, let's just take a look at it and in this uh, collection um, series uh, they do also have uh, 747 um, but it's a it's a combi 747 and a combi is basically a combination between passenger and um, freighter so half of it is passenger and then the other half is freighter so same as the box for the 767 uh, it has engraving right here so it says M uh, I think that's a zero and then, oh no, sorry, it's a D, MD, and then you have the hyphen here, 11, and then Bravo. So, let's take it out. And same thing, it comes with instructions if you want to put, uh, take out the gears and put it into fight mode. And then there's the stand, and the stand is pretty much the exact same. Uh, it just says MD11 on it. And the KLM logo. And it says McDonald Douglas. Right there. There we are. Alrighty. And it's an easy snap. There we go. Alright, so I just had to stop uh, recording for one second. And uh, I was just about to start opening uh, the protection covers here, and then I realized I wasn't recording. So that's why you can see it's sort of a little bit lifted. So anyway, let's continue. I just need to clean up a bit. So I had some space to put the protection covers aside. And there it is. Alright, and again, it comes with uh, uh, parts, extra parts if you want to put it in fight mode. And that's about it, so I'm just going to cover it up, put the protection uh, cover aside, so we can take a look at the model. Alright, so here it is. And again, being uh, dragon wings, the landing gears do not roll. And this is a 2003 release. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, 2003 release. Alright, so let's just hop into it. Starting on the left hand side. Alright. Let's try this again. Okay, so uh, let's start on the left hand side. So you can see the cockpit windows there. Uh, hard to see the windshield wipers, but we'll take a look at from the front. Uh, and then we got uh, the front emergency uh, uh, exits. And then we have the KLM logo and the old 
uh, KLM Northwest logo right there. A little bit hard to see, but that's what it says. And um, moving on, uh, we have again very good detailing on the engine. You can see that KLM logo. It's hard to see. Actually, there's no indication of landing light. I'm guessing maybe this might be the landing light right there. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And then we have the over the wing exits. Very good detailing on the slats. And oops. and very good detailing on uh, on uh, the winglets as well. And then going towards the back here, we have the registration. Uh, Papa, Hercules, Kilo, Sierra, Jake. And then uh, we have the uh, Netherlands flag and the European Union flag. And then we have the uh, rear emergency exit. And again, very good detailing on the engine there. And as well as on the rudder and um, the elevators as well very detailed so let's take a look at the right hand side now so starting from the back again very good detailing on this side as well uh, we have the rear emergency exit and then we had the registration and then you can see there the rear cargo door bay um, there's the KLM logo on the engine again very good detailing there as well and over the wing exits I think I already said that but carrying on we have the front emergency exits uh, the KLM logo and we have the front cargo door bay then coming back towards the cockpit we have the Northwest KLM logo uh, and then we have uh, the cockpit windows once again. Alright, so let's uh, just take a look from the front. Again, very good detailing. Um, so, don't see it, but yeah, there's no indication of the windshield wipers. Uh, engines are very detailed as well. Um, you can sort of, uh, yeah, you can see the blades there, and then going towards the back, and on the top you have a little bit of detailing there uh, into the uh, fuselage mold itself. There's the other engine, and uh, looking from the top, you have good detailing on uh, the flaps right here you can clearly see the flaps and the speed brakes uh, uh, flaps as well and then um, let's see looking at the bottom let's take a look at the bottom so uh, there's the registration and then we have the main landing gear and I don't, I'm not going to touch it much because you can remove them and put it into flight mode. Uh, gears do not roll, but you can clearly see the indication of the flaps there. Very well detailed. And uh, yeah, there's the hole for the stand. And then you have uh, the bay doors for the nose landing gear. And yeah, that's about it for this uh, model. And just in case if you are wondering, I am going to read what it says inside of the KLM and Northwest logo. So it says, uh, oh, yeah, it just says KLM and Northwest. I can't quite read the rest, but I'm pretty sure it is probably saying Sky Team there. But yeah, so that's it for um, this special unboxing. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to smash the like button and uh, uh, I will be getting one more KLM aircraft. Uh, it is an aircraft that recently uh, had to go into early retirement. 
due to uh, the COVID-19 crisis. So uh, if you guys know which aircraft I'm talking about, please go ahead in the comments and uh, name your guesses. But uh, yeah, so that's it for this video and see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already.